Alexandria from Adams Memorial Library. Today I am going to be showing you how to make one of our online crafts for the summer. So you, today we are going to be making the sun card. I love because you can open up, write a nice message, you can give it to whoever you want, you can make multiple of these. Um, in order to make this craft, you will need to stop into the library and pick up one of our to-go bags. Um, if you didn't get one of the to-go bags, that's fine. You can also pull materials from you have at home. I will show you the materials that we're going to be using today. I also have in that to-go bag a little instruction sheet as well. So if you want to follow the video with us today, or if you just want to read through the directions on your own, this is available as well. So with that said, let's get crafting. Okay, so today we are going again to be making our sun card craft. Um, I have it paper clipped together so you can see the front, but it does open up into a nice blank space that you can draw some images, write your personalized message to whoever you want to give this card to. So you will need some of the items from that to-go bag. Inside your to-go bag, you're going to see the instruction sheet here, which will also tell you the materials that you'll need for this craft. But for today, we're going to be using the yellow card stock sheet, the orange card stock sheet you have in there, and the blue cardstock sheet you have in there, along with the sheet of white computer paper. So it's important that you grab the computer paper because there is also a white sheet of cardstock in your bag. We're gonna be using that for another craft. So if you accidentally use it, it's okay. You just may need to pick up another piece of white cardstock. But for today, you want the computer paper, which is that lighter paper, okay? Also in your bag, you're gonna see this little box. If you open up the box, there's gonna be some pretty neat things in there. Um, for today, we are gonna be wanting the scissors the glue stick, and the pack of markers. So you can leave everything else inside. Okay. You also may want to grab a pencil to help you draw with just some sketching today. I'll explain shortly what we're gonna be using the pencil for, but I always like it just in case if I need to erase or fix something, I have that available to me. So to get started with our sun card, the first thing that you want to do is pull out that blue cardstock. Okay. Now, when you fold it, you want to fold it. So you want to hold it that it's long ways. All right. It should be vertical up and down. You don't want to use horizontal. We want to use the vertical. All right. When you use, get it to its vertical side, long, long length, I should say, you're going to go ahead and I just kind of eyeball it. I take my top part and fold down till it's about the center. Now I'm not gonna crease it just yet because then I'm gonna take my bottom part, fold up so that they meet in the center. And as you can see, you kind of have to play around with it a little bit. So that's why I don't like to do a crease right away. And you might not get it exactly centered and that's okay. But once you feel you have about equal pieces on either side, I'm just gonna press and seal that crease. And again, if you notice a gap, anything like that, you can always fix it. You might just need to crease it a little further down. But once you feel like you have that good connector piece, you're just gonna go and create your nice creases. So when you open it up, there's the inside. Mm -hmm. Now, it doesn't really matter what order you do this in. I think it's easier to do the inside first. So to add that white sheet, um, one thing you will notice when you go, you say, oh, I'll just put glue on the back. It is the same si size as the blue sheet. So all I simply did was take my scissors and then I just went around each side. And cut off a little sliver. I didn't take a certain amount, just enough to cut down the paper a little bit. And it's okay if your sides aren't exactly the straightest. It actually, even if they're a little crooked, it doesn't really show that much on the card. But if you want to cut off a little more to make them straighter, if you have a paper cutter at home and want to use a paper cutter, great. I just kind of eyeballed it and cut off a little off each side of the white computer paper. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead, open up my blue piece here and place it down. And now you can see I have a little blue border around all sides. Again, if you want to cut your white paper down even more, if you just want to make it the size of the center, that's completely up to you. But once you feel like you have a pretty good 
size paper to fit inside your blue paper. You want to take your glue stick. What I did was just added a little glue to each corner. So that's where you want to really anchor it. Inside, kind of finagle it to where you want. You want to try to get an even amount of blue on each side or whatever your preference is, and then just press it down. And then all you'll need to do is once you have it pressed down, just once again, bring those sides in and do another crease, okay? If you feel it flapping open, that's okay. Um, it will do that. I'll explain a way to help with that here as soon as we're done with our sun face on the front, okay? So I'm gonna put that aside for now. Next, we're gonna actually make the face of our sun. So this is where you're gonna need that yellow cardstock. Now, I'm gonna use this for both my sun face and the strips that go around the sun or the little rays off the sun. So in order to do that, I just used a roll of duct tape. Um, anything that's about this width, um, if you have a wider coffee mug that you flip upside down to trace for the circle, you can. Um, a duct tape roll, again, if you have that, that's a very nice round shape. So that's what I used to trace my sun. So let me actually go out here. Okay. And then all I did then was take my pencil and traced around the outer side of the duct tape. If you want to make your circle a little smaller, you could go from the inside as well. Wait a minute. So now I have a nice round circle for my sun. So then I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. And again, I'm also going to use this paper for my strips. So you're going to see I'm going to leave or cut as close to, so I'm only really cutting out the sun piece here and I don't waste a lot of that extra yellow. And then I always like to just to check on the size, hold it up to my card. I think that's a pretty good size. If you want to make it a little smaller, you can just cut out around. And depending on how much you want your rays, um, little beams to stick out of the card might depend on how big you want to make this. So we, like I said, you could even trace the inside of the tape roll, which makes it a little smaller. Or if you have another round shape that's um, that you can use to help trace that. So once you have your sun head cut out, then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your circle, fold it in half. Doesn't matter which way I'm doing mine kind of taco style here. Give it a little crease like that. So now you can see I have this crease in the center and then I'm going to cut that in half. So I'm left with two semicircles. Okay. So now I like to add a face to mine. So you can see I gave mine just a little smile and some cool looking sunglasses. You don't have to add that. You can just leave it as a plain sun. If you want to do like silly eyes, um, a silly expression, that's also available to you too. I just did that using the marker pack that you have in your kit. So I just pulled out one of the black markers. And then this is where I like the pencil. <laughs> um, because if you're like me, it doesn't always come out just the way you want it the first time you draw it. So <clears throat> what I would do is I take one half of my circle. I'm going to make this the top part of my card. So this is where I'm going to draw the sunglasses. And basically all I did to draw the sunglasses was it's really like two half circles put together. So you can make them as long or as wide as you want. If you can see that there, I just kind of did two semicircles and I'm noticing now this one's a little shorter, but that's okay. But I can always erase and make it wider if I want to. All right, and then once I drew that, I just took my black marker and gave my son some nice shades. Yeah, I'm a cool looking son. All right, and then for the bottom part, I just drew a smile. So in order to draw my smile, I just kind of followed the curve of my semicircle here. 
And again, doing it in pencil, just in case I want to change anything. And then I just did another one right on top. See if you can see that. And just take my marker. Put it in my smile. Again, you don't have to do the smile. You can tweak it, give it silly teeth, give it a tongue, <laughs> whichever you like. But there I have my cool looking son with a smile. All right. All right. So the next part that I'm going to do are the rays. So let me set this aside. Let's put my pack. All right. For the rays, um, what you're going to do is you're going to need the yellow and the orange. Now, <clears throat> When I was making my first sample, I had already cut some out, so I'm actually gonna use those to help conserve some of the paper. Um, but you can see, all you wanna do for the rays are, this is obviously cut a little bit, but this is gonna be your full sheet of orange. The same way you held your blue, you want it vertical, long ways, and then you're just gonna fold it in half. So you'll have a piece that looks about this size. So yours will be a little longer because you're folding it from a full sheet. And then what I did, was I cut five strips and it'll actually give you a little bit of extra rays that you won't use. So even if you have a couple extra on there, if you find one that one didn't come out quite right or you don't wanna use that one, you'll have some extras to play around with. Um, I made my strips about a half an inch wide. So um, I think most of you on your scissors, if you have the to-go pack, actually have a little ruler, um, which is really nice. <laughs> so I measured about a half an inch and all I did, so you can use their scissors if you have a roller at home, or if you just kind of want to eyeball it to about a half an inch. Even once you cut one strip, you have a template to keep going. Um, with it folded in half, I measured about one inch down here, one inch at the top, and cut that strip out. Okay, and once you get your first strip template, you can kind of use that to keep going. So you're going to cut five of the orange and you'll do five of the yellow. Now I have my orange cut, so I'm gonna show you. Once you measure that half inch strip and you cut it out, you're gonna have a nice long strip with a crease in the middle like this. So you're just going to cut this strip in half. So really, when you cut one out, it'll leave you with two different rays because you're gonna cut those in half. So here's my nice long strip. Open it up, wherever this little crease is here in the center, I'm just gonna cut. And I will tell you, I did a different mixture here. So I did some orange, some yellow. It's completely up to you if you want to do all orange, if you want to do a mix of yellow, all yellow. That is your preference. But I have my strips cut and even some extras here that I can use. And then I had some extra yellow from when I did my first one. So I held on to those. Same thing. I actually already have a strip cut. Again, they're about a half an inch wide. You can make yours thinner or wider, however you prefer. Once I cut one, I just kind of use it as a template to draw my others. And with it still folded in half, you can see where my sun was cut out there. And if it's not exactly a straight cut, it's okay because you really won't notice it once it's on the card. But again, where that crease is, I'm just gonna cut. Okay. So once you have your strips cut, again, five of the yellow, five of the orange, should get you plenty to use for your craft or play around with. It'll, if you wanna cut more and make your bands even closer, you can, that's fine. But what you wanna do is before you glue the sun down on the card, you wanna glue your rays onto the back of the sun. So pick whichever one you wanna start with. If you wanna start with the top, so you can pick the top. You're gonna take a strip and you're gonna fold that strip in half. And then I'm just gonna put a little glue at the bottom here to hold these two ends together. And it really doesn't take much. You might have to give it a minute. I just kind of press them together, kind of get a nice seal there. 
Do the same thing with all my strips. See, then the rays come in together. And on occasion, as you will see, they will pop open. <laughs> and that's okay, because they'll be anchored even more once we glue them onto the card. Sometimes you may just have to give it that extra squeeze or a little bit more glue to hold. Okay, so now that I have a couple glued, I'm going to show you how to put them onto the sign. So again, you want to glue them onto the back. Um, if you drew a face, then obviously it's going to go behind your face. If you didn't draw anything, then it really doesn't matter which side you use. Um, and in your preference, if you want it to stick out more, you want to glue it further out. If you don't want it to stick out that much, you might want to glue it further in. This makes a longer or a shorter ray. Okay. I like mine probably about an inch in. So it sticks out. So my first ray I did kind of just straight out the side. And then I chose to do an alternating, but like I said, you could do all yellow. You could all, all orange on top, all yellow on the bottom. You definitely have enough paper if you need to cut more strips. And then I just kind of left a little space between each of my right. And then I continue to glue all around my rays of the sun here. And then once you do the top, you're going to do exactly the same thing with your bottom piece. Blue rays all around, again, if you want to alternate colors. So this is with six rays across the top. So then I would do the same thing at the bottom. And go ahead and glue the rays to the back. And then once you have your pieces done, you're gonna pick up your card again. This is gonna be the top part of my card. So I'm looking at the top flap, which is up here. And then I'm just going to put glue. Now I know some of this is going to stick off the card, so I didn't glue the whole way up. I just kind of glued right where they're attached to your sun. So you can kind of see that. Like I said, you can always add more glue if you need it. I want to play with it until I have it pretty much aligned with the blue edge. And I have it positioned where I want it on the card. And then I'm going to press down. And then you do the same thing with the bottom. Put it in go where you want it, glue it right along the edge. If you don't glue it exactly on the edge, again, you have some time before the glue sets. You can always pick it up and try to re-glue it or just cut off any glue extra that you see. Okay. So once you have your two glue pieces glued down, you will have your sun card all ready to go. Thank you again for joining me for the sun craft today. Please keep in mind that this year we are offering our mystery box raffle. Um, so if you haven't seen it in the library, if you're not quite sure what that is, for any of the programs that you attend this summer, you will get a chance to win one of our mystery boxes. We have one for six and up and one for six and under. Um, when you attend the event, you'll get a little ticket that you'll fill out and it gives you a chance to win one of those really cool mystery boxes. I can't tell you what's in them but you're going to want them, trust me. <laughs> um, so if you did one of our online crafts and would like to either take a picture of the craft that you made or bring it in to show us, um, that will get you one of those little raffle tickets to go for one of the mystery boxes. So I encourage you, if you're doing the craft with us today or if you're doing it on your own at home, um, please make sure that you bring in the craft and then we can get you a little raffle ticket for one of our mystery boxes. Thank you again for joining me. I look forward to seeing you in the summer.